they have ranked and banned. They might have Riven player. Let, let me, please. I was streaming around four years ago before I became a professional player. And then I... Holy moly. <laughs> you, made, you just made it 25. GG. All right, we get a very interesting matchup. Fiora and Evelyn jungle. So yeah, let's see how that goes. Every move you made, I was watching you. If you are serious about improving and climbing to your desired league rank, you're in the right place. This year, I've worked on laying out two courses that will help you in all aspects to improve. One is about all the fundamentals for the laning phase, and the other one goes in-depth on tempo and the mid to late. I've been challenger for 7 years and I can guarantee you that this will massively speed up your process and reaching any goal that you have set in mind. Both courses have a preview video where you can see the style of the videos, so check those out before anything. You can also always join my Discord to check out some reviews. Alright, let's get into the video. <laughs> Exclamation mark location. Bro, trying to send a hit, man. Actually, this is a game where I could have tried Scorch D-Blade, huh? This is a matchup where I should have tried the Chinese setup. Gore Drinker is also kind of better against Evelyn. I like Hydra a lot more against Zed, though. So the thing is, if I want to win sideline against Zed and Fiora, I want Hydra and, like, Eclipse or Dustblade, right? But if I want to, like, have better survivability and more better laning phase, I go Gore Drinker. Evelyn's here. I think Fiona knows. Do we hide the map? I'm kind of scared of getting ghosted though. They might stream snipe me. Are you Alois or anything? Does he know chat? Well, look at you. But I actually only need one caster here to die, and I actually be level two from this melee. That kind of went awkward. I should have hit her. Listen wants to gank here. It's really cheesy, but it helps me out so much. Uh, Listen is the path vault. Kind of into my lane, I think. Evelyn's also path to the top. I don't know. My Q bounced away from the mean, so it didn't kill the mean. So I had to use two Qs to get close to the Fiora. Else the trade would be so much better. Oh, actually, this cast needs to die for me to get level 3. I'm really screwed. I should recall. You know, I should recall chat. Because after this wave is crashing to my turret, it's going to bounce back to the Fiora as well. Oh, what? Was I not in the... Is that a ward? Was it out of the bush? Wait, was it out of the bush? Oh, Evelyn is bot. With what? So you see how the Evelyn did blue buff faster than rub buff here. So that does mean that Evelyn started with a blue buff this game. But how did she go from blue buff to rep buff to bot lane in that time span? If Fiora is smart, she bases and TPs back and I can't play my lane. And then she out fundamentals me. She should have base TP. Now the one benefit I'll get is I'll, bet, I'll get level 5 first, I'll get my Ignite back. And she just used W and Bone Plating. She just had to base TP and my game was over. But she doesn't know the fundamentals yet. So now what I'm going to do is be smart. I am playing with the waves. So now Fiora doesn't really have options anymore. She can't freeze this. It's too big. Level 5 to level 4. If she had just base recall chat, my game was over. Guaranteed, by the way. You wanna cancel my base? Yeah, I know I should recall on the second push because I have <laughs> Like her cancel my recall would be really good. So that's why I know I should recall on the second push. It's a force of habit because very often a good player would cancel my recall on the first push there. GG. Fiora's correct play is actually to hard push this. So this guy is somewhat good understanding. So she knows that she should hard push this wave to make it bounce back into her. She knows that she should have tried to cancel my recall. That's why she wore it here. However, she didn't know she had to recall. And that is the thing, you know, the biggest difference very often between like master changer players, one of the hardest fundamentals to master is your reset timers. And the reason why right, reset timers are so hard to master is because you have to put yourself in the shoes of your opponent. Like what would be the worst for my opponent to do, uh, like, like, what can I do the worst thing to my opponent, right? For example, when I wanted to recall here at level 2, level 3, the reason I wanted to recall is because the wave is going to push in my turret, but afterwards it was going to bounce back into the Fiora, like it did, right? But I was not healthy enough to play the bounce if she based and TP'd, but she didn't base and TP. That's why I was able to play out the bounce, that's why I killed her. To summarize this, for the matters, GG. I'm fine trading here, you know why, chat? And that's the plan in River. It spawns at 6 minutes, and we took a trade right here. She's going to have priority, but I traded before she had the opportunity to get priority. So we get first access to the plant. Also, I checked her items, and I saw that Fiora actually had no potions in her base, in her inventory. So now, I have a potion left, I got the plant first, and I can actually play it for freezing now. Go for me. Ooh, ooh. So now I have level 7. I have a freeze. I'm full HP. She's half HP. I got a freeze. So what I'm gonna do now is be really annoying and cancel her base. So she even loses more. 
She's gonna try and recon this bush, but I'll stop that. So I'm walking away, but guess what? We do double dipping! Double dipping! So now she lost the full cannon wave, but because I cancelled her twice, she's also going to lose the next wave. So here, with wave manipulation and how the waves function with the plant respawn timer, I trade it with the information knowing that the plant would be there and she had no potions. Then, I knew I would get level 7, so the all in there was correct as well. And then cancelling her reset twice, she loses two full waves. GG. She's close to level 7. Got her bone plating out first. But I'm very close to level 8. She has no potions. I get level 8 for from one melee. Me and the caster won't give me. She's still at level 7. Evelyn is both sides. So I'm fine to fight here. She just hit level 7. She wants to reset the vital. I will allow her to reset the vital. But I'm level 8. I'm gonna full Q delay. And what I can do is Q forward. And that maybe baits the Fiora. Like I said. Ooh, good flesh. How does she still have flesh? But what I did there is Q delay. To bait her to walk forward, right? But then actually my Q comes back and I win the all-in. So that was all mechanics, of course. Slow push it hard push. I don't need to play it because I already have... I <gasps> no, I don't have item. I don't have item. I need to play it. Please, 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 please. Guys. I'm dead. Worth. Worth. We get the Hydra. Any worthers in chat? Any worthers? I feel like we won our matchup. Not necessarily because we won with mechanics, but you see I pretty much won through fundamentals. Okay, did you guys learn anything new in this in this landing phase? Type 1 in chat if you learned something new in this landing phase. How does this guy have 93 CS? No. No! <laughs> I kill both! If I don't, you should look good! I don't... I don't... I would kill both. Alright, so chat, I was ahead, now I died twice, and now randomly my lead is gone. So, I'm gonna sit back, I'm not gonna die again. This is my last death this game, that was random. And we gotta play Disciplined if I ever wanna carry this game still. So, full focus from now forward. Evelyn's here. I can for sure get this plate. There's a scout on the river. There's a next wave coming too. If I die taking this wave, I don't mind it that much because I won't lose anything either. Of course, I don't want to die, but Evelyn's both. Fiora has no TP, so it's definitely best for me to just get this tier 1 turret. That will give me the maximum gold income. This Evelyn's so fat, it's gonna be a problem. I have to build, like, magic resist just for the Evelyn, which is such a frustrating thing because my magic resist is literally used against everybody else. Do you trade based on incoming ways? Absolutely. See, the thing is, here I could recall, but I don't really get anything from recalling because Evelyn is still boss. Bolt. So I'm going to use the fact that I can get more resource on the map right now. Because there's a Scuttle here too. My Lee Sin was also 3 and 0, and now he's 3 and 2. Like, my Lee Sin was ahead and I was ahead. I got my lead back, but Lee Sin completely gave away his lead. Like, he invaded here and then went Bolt and died. Two deaths, boom, out of the game. So now I have Tempo on top because I pushed out the waves. So I think I want to go Bolt right now. The reason I also want to go Bolt is you see, enemy team is probably going to play for Herald. And that gives me an opportunity to play for Bolt tier 1. Flash ulted. And she died. Goodbye, Majest next to Evelyn. I know I had Soraka ult, by the way. That's why I felt pretty safe. Alright, so we got so Evelyn Flash. And we got our Majest next out. So that's one more condition gone. She kills that as well. That's another shutdown. Alright, so we got all the shutdowns on the map now with that drone. First of all, we killed Ash shutdown. Yo! Okay, then we killed Evelyn. He flashed. Then we killed Zed. All shutdowns done. This roam was full over time.
Clean the solar I've ever got in my life, actually. Actually, clean the solar I've ever got in my life. <coughs> that was so disgusting! It worked though. Hey, GG. Please don't be here. I said no more deaths this game. Oh, please get this. Listen, it would be amazing if you get this. Oh, you're the goat. I farmed so much still here, chat. Like, when I lived, I still farmed like two mid waves. I got the bot wave. I got the raptor camp. He flushed. Did I say I won't die again? Like, 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 did, did you guys believe me when I said I won't die again, by the way? Did you guys believe me when I said I will never die again? When they have two fat assassins on the map, I don't believe myself, but I'm doing it. I would just uh, argue that I'm playing this game pretty disgustingly clean. I wouldn't get a full death sense there, but I would get a full mall. That's what I mean, chat. Never die, win the game. Perma die, lose the game. Low deaths win games, okay? Low deaths win games. Every time you die, Hear my voice. Low deaths win games. Now that doesn't mean play like a pussy. You didn't see me play like a pussy this game. Just don't die. You know what I mean? They used so many resources on me like multiple times and every time I got away and actually like made them use like all their buttons on me like flash ults, all that stuff and every time they didn't get anything for it. That's why I'm full one behind this game. I want to die here but this yeah. No, please don't 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 No, don't split. No, low that's one games. It's good that though. Good, good that though. No. Yeah, I had a feeling I was gonna die there. I had a feeling I was gonna end. I could have lived if I wanted to, but I knew I was gonna end there. I knew I was gonna end. Uh, we got three kills. We got the turret. Pretty good. All right, they're all dead. He hook me. Why I have flash? Please, I need a kill. I need one kill. Okay, that's what I mean. And that's why I'm still full HP, by the way. So if you guys wonder why do I need one kill, well, all the stacked up damage in the death stance there, I instantly heal when I get that one kill. One oh, kill dude. instantly heal all the overtime death stance damage. And of course I go into Duskblade so I can't die. That's the only thing I'll miss about Mythics, like this build is actually fun when you're fed.